what, what the lady is talking about. What's up, family? On June 5th, 2020, just 11 days after George Floyd was murdered by an uncivilized Minneapolis police officer who placed his knee on his neck for several minutes, they did it again, this time in Florida. Yordi Martel, this guy is one of the worst. He dragged a black woman from her SUV onto the ground and tased her with two stuns to the stomach. Not too many people are familiar with this case because the media didn't really cover it. Not surprised, but that's why you got me. I am here to make sure that these uncivilized much do not go unnoticed. They must be brought to heel. So let's talk about the uncivilized mutt who was fired as a result of this situation. Yordi Mortel. Who is Yordi Mortel? Well, he's 30 years old. He's from Halea. He was arrested on four charges of violence and two counts of official misconduct. According to FDLE, the so-called officer surrendered to the FDLE's Miami office. Now let's talk about Sophia Satchel. She is a woman with a criminal justice degree from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who lost her unborn child after the uncivilized mutt tased her in the stomach twice. Sophia, according to reports, got into an argument over some food at Tootsie's Cabaret in Miami, Florida. Management asked her to leave. She beefed with the management as she left the place. She got into her vehicle and the Police accosted her, dragged her out of her SUV onto the ground and swung on her and tased her. So this chump was arrested and given a bond. Since he's bailed out, he's been very quiet. The whole case has been quiet. All we know is the case is unresolved. I think they're trying to cool off. They're trying to let it cool off and hoping that people forget. Hoping that the public moves on. That's not going to happen. I am going to stay at it. And I'm going to help expose these suckers every chance I get. Because guess what? This chump should be on trial for murder. And since we know the evidence is indisputable, he should get the death penalty. That's right. His ass should suffer the consequences of his actions. And we need to send a message out to all of the others who act just like him, who think they can just take life whenever they feel because they got a damn badge. This is why people say defund the police. If the police are going to act just like the criminals, where do the people turn? It makes a person want to just take the law into their own hands. And this is why some people do, because they can't get justice. Now, at least they fired the sucker. At least he was fired. That was a good start.
Give them credit for that. But you know that police union. Oh, man. Ooh, all around America, man. The police unions need to be this bad. They need to be, uh, what do you call it? Uh, totally dismantled. They should not exist because they help cover for dirty police officers. Just like the school boards cover for dirty teachers. Not school board, but we well, have yeah, school board too. But the teachers union, oh man, they cover for a lot of dirty teachers. And some of you teachers out there know what I'm talking about. That's right. That's why y'all, the good teachers out there, can't get nothing done. Because you got dirty educators who ain't really for the children. They don't care about the children. They care about the status quo and getting their money. That's it. And if they see you in there, and you know what? They get jealous of good teachers. You ever notice that? Like dirty, dirty teachers are just like dirty cops. Dirty teachers get jealous of good teachers. Dirty cops get jealous of good cops. They are intimidated by them because now they're, uh, they are a threat to the status quo. And this is why a dirty cop, I mean, a, a dirty cop can be promoted and a good cop can be demoted, ostracized, ran off the force. Think about that, fam. That's the type of society we live in. A good teacher can be ran out of the school, out of the whole district, while a dirty teacher can be tenured. You know, like, so to speak, that dirty teacher just hold their job for 30, 40 years and never have any stress. Now you got to go through nothing. You trying to go in there and help the kids for real, man, you're going to face all kinds of obstacles. That's right. I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is. This cop, Yordi Martel, needs to be arrested again. He should not have been given a bond. He is a threat to society. Now, why was he there in the first place? They say he was working for the, for the club. They say he was working for the club, but he had gotten fired. According to reports, he had gotten fired from another position prior to that because uh, of excessive force. A lot of these dudes, they ain't got it up here, man. A lot of them dudes who run around here with these, run around here masquerading as, uh, as peace officers, they're anything but peaceful. They are very violent, unhinged. They need to go. But it's very hard to get rid of them because many of their superiors, they are, they are troublesome, fam. They are, they're, they're, they're problematic. You know, leadership starts at the top. So you find a dirty cop, go to the top, investigate his, his superior and watch what you find. I'm glad that the woman did not lose her life. She lost her unborn child, and that's tragic. Very hard to watch that video. I mean, he just, how uncivilized do you have to be? I mean, he put it right in her stomach and hit her twice. Knee on the neck. I'm talking about totally uncivilized. Baby girl, sue, sue, sue. I know it's not going to bring the baby back, but in America, that's pretty much all they respect is blood and money. So sue, 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 and hit them where it hurt them because they don't understand nothing else. Yordi, I hope some way, somehow, you see this video. Because I want you to know, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?